So what we're going to do now is add color to your name on your sketchbook. So some supplies that I have are a fine tip sharpie, an ultra fine tip sharpie. I'm going to be using just one color of colored pencil, but you of course can use as many as you would like to. And then I also have an eraser. So you could use one of the art room erasers, which you will find on the art ladder most likely. Or if you'd like to use your own eraser on your pencil, you can. Before you get started coloring, I want you to make sure that you've gone over your design and erased any leftover graphite that might still be there so that you have a nice clean design that's ready for coloring. Okay, so I think you look pretty good. What I'm going to be doing is using a combination of Sharpie and colored pencil, but you're welcome to use all Sharpie if you would like to, or you can use all colored pencil after you have done your Sharpie outline. So I'm going to use the fine tip Sharpie, and I'm going to use that in any of the areas where I'm coloring in the actual letter that's underneath the slime. There. Okay, so my T is all colored in, but now it's time to do the slime. So when you use your colored pencils, you want to make sure that you do have a nice sharp tip on them. Okay, if you don't, it can make it really hard to be accurate and stay within the lines. So when I start coloring, if I'm just using one color, I'm going to go over the entire section that needs to be that color with a nice even layer. And in this case, I've got a nice even layer of green. I'm gonna go slowly, I'm gonna move my hand in small motions back and forth. You can even do a small circular motion if you want to. And then I turn, whatever it is I'm coloring, I'm gonna turn it so that I'm always coloring along the edge of my design. What you don't want to do is color this way so that you're coloring up to the edge. Because if you do that, you can very easily go over the line. And we want to try to stay within the lines because it looks nicer after all. I will hold this up to the camera in just a second. Okay. Almost finished. Notice how I'm always turning what I'm coloring. So it makes it easier to color along the edge of the design. We've got our T colored in, and it looks nice, and I could leave it that way if I wanted to. If you want to be a little bit fancier, here is a little trick. So I'm going to do kind of a light, or I'm sorry, not a light, a dark to light, um, what they would call an ombre effect, very popular word lately. And to do that, I'm just going to go over the top of my design with another layer of green. I'm going to put a little bit more pressure down. I'm also going to just go over the same spot more than once. And that way, I'm building up the green colored pencil so that it looks a little bit darker. But I'm only doing it at the very top of the T. What I'm going to do next is then as I move down towards the bottom of the T, I'm going to ease up so I'm not pressing down quite as hard. Sometimes if you hold your pencil back a little bit, it will help you color a little more lightly. You won't be able to put so much pressure down. And what I'm hoping is that I create a dark to light effect 
from the top of the T down to the bottom of the T. In the middle where you're transitioning, you have to make sure that you don't make it too dark. Otherwise you'll end up with a line where it's dark and then it's light. And then it will look striped as opposed to just having a slightly darker shaded area that transitions into a lighter area. All right. So there we go. You can see that now it has a little bit more oomph to it. But if you don't want to do that technique, you don't have to. Okay, so just to review before I say goodbye, remember that when you start to add color, you are using Sharpies and colored pencil, or you can use just Sharpies or just colored pencil. It's totally up to you. You can use as many colors as you want, and you're welcome to make up the colors, even if online your design was just black and white. All right, bye.